Poor old man Connolly should have put his trust in us. We'd have robbed him the same, but at least he wouldn't have been killed. Rest in peace with the good Lord. And God forgive him, because he knew not what he did. We're going to bury him? No, that wouldn't be friendly. Remember, there's a widow who might like to thank us. Castle. I'd swear on the Bible that it was him. How much do we get? Five dollars a head. Eight. Six is me last. So we're in business. I'll decide if you don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. <laughs> Treasures for yourself on earth, where moth and where rust do surely corrupt. Amen. You know, I still prefer Danny. Oh, I know he's got a beard, but that makes him more attractive than ever, I think. <laughs> That's why I chose Steve, so you can have Danny. You hurry and grow up. And if he waits for you, you can marry him yourself. Liz, I asked you to feed the animals. Half an hour ago. Yes, Mama. I hope he waits. <laughs> Haven't you finished that dress yet? You know it's got to be ready by tomorrow morning. And you're only going to wear it once, after all. That depends on how many husbands she manages to bury. Mind if I come in? I hope you'll forgive the intrusion, but... Uh... I heard you were getting married tomorrow, and with your permission, I'd like to offer a small gift. Who are you? I'm Clark Bennett, your new neighbor. Ah, yes. You're the one bought the ranch Bronson refused to sell to me. <sighs> That's right. I hope we can still be friends. Just delighted to know you, sir, and so are they. Go feed the animals, Liz. Oh, I forgot. The silly animals. You'll stay here till i finished? I'll try. You're new in these parts. Yes, that's right. In fact, I bought the ranch through an agent. I've always planned to settle down to farming one day. Let's hope I can make a go of it. I'd welcome any advice. Mama, Anne, come here a minute. Excuse me. Certainly. What is it? Look over there. Good name, ma'am. 
You need something? Just shelter for the night, some water. We're working people. Bound for Sammy Wood's farm. You know Sammy? Don't believe so. There's the well, and there's the stable. Now, if you'll excuse me. Certainly, ma'am. Thank you. They wouldn't be your wedding guests. I've never seen them before. My friends arrive tomorrow. Don't you mind having strangers on the ranch? I'm not scared. I know. Well, I have to go to town. But I'll come back in time for the ceremony. If I'm invited, of course. But what time is it? Eleven o'clock. Until tomorrow, then. My respect. Thank you. We play cards for the girls. Do you want to get your face busted in? You fool. Come on. Uh. That's why I've come. I intend to get the horses at Castle Russell from old man Connolly. I've got the description, color, breed, brand, everything. But Castle hasn't shown up for a month at least. I wouldn't want to kill you for a bunch of horses. Wait a moment. Please. He did come here. Bernie Roach wouldn't pay the price he wanted, so he was shot. Now Castle's trying to sell the animals to Sammy Wood. He and his men are making for Sammy's place right now, but nobody knows what he's done with the horses. Perhaps he decided to leave them with Frank Anderson. Where is Frank? Right after the barbers, there's a saloon. He'll be drinking in, in the bar there. I've got to trust you, Howard. I hope you appreciate my trust. Let's go. But, Bill, I... I said let's go. Get out. Tell him to come out. I'm already out, Mac. Throw down your guns and don't turn around. And how would you talk to me? Hey, that woman missed me just by a hair. I thought I made it clear we left the women alone. We're in enough trouble already without looking for any more. Go and sleep. Dave! 
Come here. You used to shoot much better than that, Mama. That's enough of that. <laughs> Let's stop it. You shouldn't tease her. Nothing funny about using a gun, but we happen to live alone. And the only defense we have is my Winchester. I even take it to bed at night. If I were you, I'd get married again. It's a good idea. And if you married that nice Mr. Bennett, you'd get Brunson's ranch after all. Come in. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were having supper. We're finished now. What do you want? My button came off and I wondered... Get me a needle. Thank you. You want something to eat? I am hungry, you know. One of those men your dad? No, I got no folks. They died when I was just a little kid. Here. Here you are. Thanks. And you, ma'am. He's cute, isn't Come he? here, Liz. You go to bed. I'll clear up. Liz! Oh. Be careful, will you? I'm sorry. Let me carry it upstairs for you. It's so pretty. Go to bed or I'll lamb both of you. Good night. Castle, come on out. Stop firing, we'll set fire to the barn. It's Bill Mack. He's managed to track us down. What are we going to do? I'm going to investigate. Well, are you coming out, or do we have to come in and get you? I declare. What do you want? Well, now, you wouldn't happen to have noticed a bunch of riders, one with a couple of scars on his cheek. Some men are resting in the barn here. I didn't see any with scars. Oh, except for that one there. My son, how thoughtless of you. Why didn't you prepare a welcome for him? 
so we didn't have to bother these patients later. You might have told me your friends were coming. You get on back to bed. At once, Liz. After you, Mr. Castle. You better lower your guns, boys. I wouldn't like to begin by depriving you of your chief. What do you want? The horses from McConnelly's ranch, all of them. They're sold and I've spent the dough. How could you do that so soon? You don't have to buy them back. Just tell us where they are. I sold them to Frank Anderson. Frank Anderson's with the angels in paradise, God rest his soul. You killed him? With the angels, I tell you, in paradise. You must listen to me, my son. You see, uh... O'Connelly's widow, well, uh, she hired us to get him back. We can't disappoint her. You want to take them back? That's right. Castle, I have an idea. You've had your share. I'll take them back and get the pay, and that'll be our share. And I'll let you know when we can steal them again, huh? It might develop into a nice, steady job for both of us. If you boys agree. It's an honest proposal. Do you all agree? I uh, can trust your castle? Of course, Billy boy, put it there. Oh, Lord, we thank thee for having poured thy blessed light on our decision. Help us to work together in perfect unity. Protect us from the dangers along our way. And deliver us from evil. Amen. 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 Say, you didn't say amen. No. Well, you just go on and say it. Amen. And next time, don't you forget.
Yeah, sure, it's true, Steve. Why would I lie, Danny? And there are ten or more of the killers still there. I'll give a hundred dollars for every one of them that's killed. Do you want to make this a lynch mob? They must be tried and judged. No. First we hang them. Then we can judge them, Pastor Ferguson. We're going to hang the... They murdered innocent women. I say we hang them all. Come on. Hang them. Bring them on. Only one of us could have killed them. Who was it? Are you sure you know nothing about it, Benny? Nothing. Was it you, Adam? Why, you must be crazy. John? Don't you ask me even as a joke, Tassel. Henry? If you ask me again, I'll break your neck. What about you, Clay? Fred? <laughs> It'd be a miracle if one of these lousy pigs were to confess. Was it you by chance, Castle? Stop it. Stop it. If you all gone crazy, we got to move out. If anyone finds us here, they sure will think we murdered them. And they'll hang us all. Come on. Hang you people, if any. My men and I had nothing to do with it. Let's go. Come on. Where are you going, you idiots?
Danny. They won't get away. That road takes them back to Cook's Ranch. We can cut them off. Let's go. And dinner for forget. Thou shalt not Come kill. Come on. Okay. Yeah. 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 charge here. Do as we tell you. Otherwise... You can save your threat. All of us would prefer not to wind up like those wretched creatures you murdered over on the cook ranch last night. So just tell us what we have to do. Who are you? My name is Mrs. Ferguson. My compliments, ma'am. If I've met such a magnificent woman, I too might have become. A devout minister, instead of a soul in hell surviving on the memories of his old vocation. What do we do? Tell the people to go to the saloon. Everyone, including the children. Come on, everyone. We must all go to the saloon. You all heard, so let's be obedient. Don't you worry now, baby. <laughs> Not you, Mrs. Ferguson. I have something more interesting for you. You see to the food and ammunition. Say, please. Please. But don't make it a habit. What 
happened. Don't try to come back to town. Stay well away if our lives have any value for you. They'll murder us all without hesitation if you try to return. They swear they're innocent and have no intention of hanging for a crime they did not commit. They said they prefer to fight it out to the death if necessary. They'll get supplies they plan to cross the frontier. If you make the smallest sign of attacking, they'll carry out their threats without mercy. I want to talk to them. I advise you not to take the risk. So I suppose you're all going to wait until he rob us blind. And those dirty killers make free with your women. Of course, that's your business, because I ain't got a wife. I'll find a way to talk to them. As a minister of the church, they must know I won't do them any harm. We'll come with you, Pastor. Stop! You fools! Somebody who decided to come back home just at the right time. What is it, Clay? Yeah, look at this. It's just what we needed. Now everybody can have a horse of his own. Yeah. if you stay off their trail. Dragging her along with us just means trouble. They won't rest till they freed that woman. If you want to pick a quarrel, you'd better go off on your own. You're not obliged to follow me. Hadn't you better tell us your plans? I don't see why I should. 
But like I said, it's my intention to go to Mexico. I've gone back and forth across the Mexican border time and again. Why, it'll take more than two days to get there. Yeah, that's right. But that doesn't matter. We'll do it in two stages. Remember Fort Tortuga? It was abandoned by the Army 10 or 12 years ago. A lot of Mexican families live there now. You know, no rent to pay. They work for the farmers in the district. There's nobody there but the Mexicans, and they're my friends. They know how to keep their mouths shut. They wouldn't betray you for a bag of gold or a belly full of lead. It's a good place. Nobody ever goes there these days. Hola, Manuel. Miguel, como estás? Hola, amigo. We are happy to see you. You wish to stay many days with us? Only tonight, Manuel. Don't worry, I'll answer for the men. Penny will give you some provisions. Won't you, Benny? That is ah, very kind of you. Gracias, senor. The food is scarce here, my friend. The rancheros pay us badly. Mucho trabajo y poco dinero. A hard life, senor. I know. Manuel? Muy guapa, senor. Muy guapa. Your wife, eh? My fiancé. Only my fiancé. Let him down, boys, and get some rest. Ranger! That's my husband's horse. Well, if you're done with him, I want to know what you did to my poor Andrew. The horse arrived in town on its own. I don't know anything about your husband. I don't know him. Give the lady the room you usually give me. She'll do the cooking. with a wagon pass this way? Long ago? Well, which way did they go? They took the trail south. I think they headed that way. Thanks. Let's go. like we're servants, but I'll break his neck. Don't make trouble now, will you? Wait till we're safe across the frontier. Hassel! Hassel! Ah, so our friends are on the way, Jim. I hope not, but maybe. Not at once in any case. You don't have to interrupt your work yet. <laughs> Him? I sent him south. Good. But they're still following us, huh? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if they caught up with us before the frontier. Maybe we should 
change our route. Maybe. Get something to eat. We'll talk it over with Benny later. Okay, Bill. Henry. Get moving. It's time, Juan. You must have patience, Senora. I'll manage it soon, don't worry. What are you doing here? <laughs> Out. See, si, Senora. Starving yourself won't solve any problem. Hot enough to take the roof of your mouth off. I'll get you something else. What? No, no, it's not necessary. I'm fond of Mexican food. see your husband's face right now. If he could see us drinking together, just the two of us. My husband, if he's still alive, knows quite well I only came with you to avoid being murdered like Madeline Cook. I've already told you we had nothing to do with that. This gun has never fired on a woman. So don't say it again. I might lose my patience. Maybe... Castle. The next time that'll be him. Adios, Bill, and good luck. Thanks. Hasta pronto. Adios, friends. Don't forget us, will you? And don't work yourselves to death, boys. Don't worry. We won't, senor. Oh, let me go. No, I didn't, I didn't do anything. No, I didn't do anything. <coughs> We caught him outside. He was trying to get back in without being seen. Pay for this. Jim, Adam, take a look outside. Where have you been? Out of my way. Just outside. I went for a walk. Are they coming here, or are they waiting for us along the way? I don't know what you're talking about, senor. Where are they now? I don't know. I don't know. Try to remember. No, stop! Did she send you? Yes. No, she doesn't know anything about it. I... I... They're here! They're Coming here! They're all from all directions! They're going to attack! Fire the gates! Get the gates and get on my gun! The wall. Yeah, all of you on the wall! You had to bring her. Why didn't you leave the woman alone? I know what I'm doing. You better take cover. Everyone, take cover! Juan, Juan. Don't worry. It's not your fault, senor. <laughs> Thank you. 
I want to speak to your leader. Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt anyone. So I beg you to trust us. As a minister of the church, my word should be sufficient for you. Go on. Barbara. Andrew. They've got to stop pursuing us, Andrew. Make them withdraw. You heard your wife, Pastor Ferguson. Do as she says. I warn you, it'll be better for everyone. Leave us in peace, and no harm will be done. The law's on our side, and we're going to make you respect it. Then move back. Not even a blind man could miss you from here. Danny, no! Stop firing. Don't waste your ammunition. No. It ain't right. Didn't you know better than to trust the word of a minister? Finish with you, lady. Those boys will be sure we ain't playing around. That's enough, Castle. You had to bring her with us, didn't you? Let her go. We don't harm a hair of her head until we're safe out of here. Is that clear? Right up there. Unhitch the horses and put them on the other. Come on, boys. We don't need to unload anything except the boys. Leave the ammunition in the wagon. Do you think they're really going? Uh, to my way of thinking, they're going to camp down and wait. They know that we're all going to be trapped like rats. It's only a question of time. Each mouthful of food we eat shorts that time for us. And every bullet that goes wild just means one less possibility of survival. We've still got a good chance. I hope you're right. There's no reason to get dramatic. They were murderers after all. I know. I won't dramatize. But don't forget that both those murderers were killed simply because they trusted in my words. And in this. If we hadn't been the first to open fire, you wouldn't be alive. I'll bet you anything you like. We're all thinking of the same thing. If we don't do something for your wife, it'll soon be too late. Look, I can find a way to break into the fort and take them by surprise. I'll get rid of those dirty killers so fast they'll never know what happened. And if they were not guilty of killing the cook girls... Not guilty? What do you mean? If they were innocent, after all... Innocent, you say? Is it proof just because we think they're guilty? But who is the murderer if they didn't do it? Look out! Someone's coming! <laughs> Killers, hanging's too good for him. Filthy murderers. Well, what are we waiting for? Yeah, let's attack now and wipe him out once and for all. Before they killed the pastor's wife, too. Danny was right. And yet there's still some people who think they're innocent. You, pastor, and you, sheriff. How about even now you think it's your duty to protect those criminals? But they'll never give themselves. We could wait. 
wait here for years while our property goes to rack and ruin. And they go on raping and murdering. And the law doesn't do a damn thing but hope for them to surrender. I demand we stop these criminals now, with or without the law. Or your wife will be the next one murdered, Pastor. seen your face. That shouldn't make any difference in your position. Huh? We'll have no lynchings while I'm sheriff. He has a right to be tried. Steve, take him to the prison. I'll answer for him. think that they'd chase you till you got back here. You've made too many mistakes and it's time I stopped you. Now you're gonna pay for being stupid. Rick and Milligan. It wasn't enough to kill them. They had to hang them too. Those pigs have no respect even for the dead. Listen, I want to go and see where Liz and Ann and their mother have been buried. Just take a look at the ranch. Meantime, you can start collecting food and ammunition. I'll join you as soon as possible. Okay, son.
Better like this. Like this. <laughs> Where have I seen that face before? What face? Hey, Jay! Morning, Mr. Castle. Morning, Dave. How you keep guard, huh? And do without meals, but not spend night and day without sleeping. Get someone to relieve me. Tell me where I can get the men. Rebuilding these friends. No, they're staying where they are. Well, then let me get some rest. Try not to be so crazy, or you might find yourself dead. Where are you going? Our supplies are running out, Mr. Castle. You have no right to make our wives and families die of starvation. We're going away. <laughs> Tell your flea bitten Indians to go back to the stinking huts. They will stay there. been here. What are you doing? I've milked the cows and given them water. There was no one else around to do it. How long have you been here? Long enough to finish the chores. If you see the boy, tell him to join us. I will. Don't worry. Keep still. Hold him down, will you? Harder. Harder. It's surprising how much damage a piece of lead can do. But why did he shoot me? What was he looking for? His house. Hey, boys, come and unload the wagon. Took a hell of a long time to get here. What happened? What the devil have you been doing? And what the devil have you been doing, apart from sitting and twiddling your thumbs? Where's Steve? If he's not here, then he's disappeared. I spent several hours trying to find him. And when you think it was his sweetheart that was killed... And you still believe we should protect those criminals? I haven't changed my mind, Danny. And I'm not going to. It's up to you. And if I act on my own, it shouldn't be a surprise.
Bill. Bill. Look here. And your rifles. What do you want? You. Do you want to go home? I'll let you go if you do as I tell you. And I warn you, lady, if you refuse, I'll kill you. What would I have to do? We'll go to your friends together. You and I. But you'll do the talking. You'll say that I helped you escape. That Bill Mack and his men murdered the cook women. That you heard him say so with your own ears. And that I am innocent. Is that all, Castle? Come outside. understood if you killed her, we'd have had one less mouth to feed. But treachery, that I can't understand. You make me sick, Castle. I'm inclined to kill you right now, but I'd be an idiot. As long as we're trapped in this fort, we need each other. But if we ever get out alive, I'll be waiting for you. You want her yourself, don't you? Only you think you're in love with her. You're like a lovesick cow. Benny, go and check the supplies. And keep a good eye on them. Suppose we better make a list. If you say so. But what's the good of it? From now on, we're going to have to eat the horses. We might as well let them eat us. Sorry, but if you don't want to be eaten, you'll have to get out. Go on. Ha! Ha! Get out.
play. Don't be angry with me. Because I didn't want the horses to get eaten. No. Of course I won't. And can I stay with you? Promise. You can stay with me forever, I promise you. Forever. They're the killers, I tell you. All that high-minded lynch mob and that mealy mouth Parsons' wife that belongs with them, damn her! Damn her to hell! Where are you going? What's wrong with you? Shut the gate after me. Hey, come back. Come back, you fool. Stupid idiot. What are you trying to do? Hey, get back in here. realized what kind of people they are. It's about time, too. Wait for me, son. We're going crazy digging, and we're not even sure if we can recover their body. Must persuade him to give us the truce. If only to clear the ground before the battle. Just tell me how you're going to ask for a truce when they won't let you come near without filling you I'll with lead. Oh, no. The fact that I'm a minister will make a difference. <laughs> Came to the veranda. Uh, it's pointless, old friend. When you only have to bring me back here. <laughs> Don't talk to me. Benny. Benny. You know, Billy, I never thought. Maybe I was digging my own grave with my own pair of hands. Almost makes me tired of life. They got him, too. And I wouldn't say I'm sorry. It was a moron.
the others on the end of a rope. As far as I can see, you'll soon be keeping them company. Yeah, I got a feeling maybe you're right. I know I can get them to see reason. I only have to tell them that you offer to submit to a fair trial. I'll convince the sheriff of your innocence. I'm sure he'll understand the situation. I won't bring my men back to life. They'll still be in the graves where that saintly husband of yours helped to send them. Oh, and that attitude won't help matters either. You've got to get out of here. This place isn't safe for you any longer. That's nothing new. You'll finish up getting yourself killed, you and all your men with you. My men will fend for themselves. As for me... The one man I have a right to kill. No one will mourn my death. I shall. You? Yes, I shall. Am I not supposed to have feelings? Don't you believe I might be a creature of flesh and blood like you? Benny always used to tell us about a certain Jew. He gave a general one wonderful night of love and cut his head off. I wouldn't want the same thing to happen to me. You're really yeah. awful. Your hatred helps me to be bad. And I have to be. For whatever end is coming to us. We gotta do something. We gotta try to stop it spreading. You stay here. Come on, Castle, get moving. We gotta hurry.
what you want? Uh, this. This is to acknowledge receipt of the sum of $10,000 from Madeline Cook and my solemn promise to repay the said sum within three months. And furthermore, on a date prior to that fixed for the wedding of her daughter Anne to Mr. Steve Gorman. If at the end of the above-mentioned period I have failed in my obligation, I authorize the registration of the present document as a valid and complete act of session to the said Mrs. Cook of the total estate of my ranch in liquidation of all debts outstanding, is witness my hand, Danny Boyd. Give me that document. Fired from there, through the window. Yes. Saw who it was? Yes, I saw him. Look at this. Give it to me. No. I have the prerogative. Five years. For five years I've looked for this man all over the country. He murdered my wife and my boy in El Paso. He managed to put the blame on another man. He was condemned and hanged for it. Then one day I saw this poster. And so I began hunting. The next move belongs to me. And to me, too. Very well, as you wish. Jim, Jim, where's Castle? How the hell should I know? Let's try to cut down the store. That way we may save the house and the stable. Here, take this. Look out!
I'll come back when I've finished off your pal. Bill! Where are you hiding? Come on, fight, you swine! Bill! Someone's coming out. Danny! Don't shoot! They'll never let us get out. That's just too bad for you. You see, I'm going to die today. But before I do, I'm going to have one thing at least. Now, are you going to cooperate or do I have to force you? Leave her alone, Castle, or I'll improve my aim. ammunition, you fool. You may need it. And you go back to your friend. I'll keep Castle covered for you. Past his wife out there. Don't shoot her. I didn't recognize her. I wasn't expecting her. I thought they were your friends. Are you hurt? No, no. It's just a scratch. Nothing much. I didn't think she was still alive. Anyway, I didn't hit her. So what's wrong? It's time we got things straight. Ever since we came out here, you've done nothing but kill, whether it was necessary or not. Don't pretend you wouldn't have done the same as me. We only shoot in self-defense. Hold it, Sheriff! Lousy killer. It's lucky your hand wasn't as steady with me as it was when you strangled Ann, Liz, and Madeline. And his wife. Why, you dirty... No! <laughs> and they won't be the only ones if you don't let me get away. Come on, let's get right. I won't stop him, you fools! No, oh, stop! Stop! We don't need to hang him. Let him go! But you can't let him get away. Leave him to the survivors in the fort. It's their right more than ours. They'll make him pay. Get going, you... Don't try to pretend you've done me a favor and drop dead, Castle. <laughs> Castle, they're coming. You don't want to be hanged. Now's the time to settle our accounts once and for all. I'm coming down. All right, come on, I'll be ready, Bill.
$10,000 in gold coin will be paid by the U.S. government for the apprehension, dead or alive, of Bud Lee. Bud Lee? I thought he was in El Paso. He was. I knew I'd seen him somewhere before. Lee was his real name. And he was a killer all his life. Apparently, even before the age of 20, he was already a murderer. Perhaps he was insane. And yet, he escaped the gallows time and again. He made himself a small fortune. Amazing. You had enough lead in your bodies to keep a whole regiment going. <laughs> That's nothing, Doctor. For us, bullets act just like a tonic. Thanks, Doc. We're going to leave now while no one's around. The fires can sometimes be painful. Especially with sheriffs. I guess you need money. We realize it might be a problem to pay you back. Take his reward for Bud Lee. It's your due, isn't it? You'll find two horses behind the house. Take them before the sheriff gets here. But it's crazy to let them go. Absolutely crazy. Oh, we don't die so easy. Good luck. And to you, too. I don't deserve it, ma'am. I really don't deserve it. Come on, will you? Otherwise, I'll be making a fool of myself. taking Widow O'Connolly's horses back. <laughs> I'm with you. Thank you. 